London-based biologist Merlin Sheldrake is out hunting for specimens. It's part of his job as a mycologist, a scientist devoted to the study of fungi. And fungi are far more than meets the naked eye. So these are a tinder fungus or horseshoe fungus. Humans have used it for thousands of years as a tinder, a material, a punk, to carry a spark or a coal. It's also what's known as a vital. It has many medicinal uses. Its antiviral agents have been effective in combating the demise of bee colonies. Fungi are a kingdom of life, which is as broad a category as animals or plants. And we think of mushrooms when we think of fungi, but most fungi don't actually produce mushrooms. The ones that do produce mushrooms to spread their spores. So mushrooms are a kind of fruit. In fact, fungi are everywhere. In the ground, in the air, in our bodies, and they're indispensable for all forms of life. In fact, they make life possible on this planet. But how do they live exactly? Most fungi live most of their lives as mycelium, which is the name given to branching, fusing networks of tubular cells, uh, which is how fungi feed. Mycelia can be microscopic, existing only as tiny mold fungi on specks of dust. But they can also be huge, one of the world's largest organisms is a network of mycelia over 2,000 years old in Oregon in the United States. It covers an area of more than nine square kilometers. 33-year-old Sheldrake says fungi can change our minds and shape our futures in his book titled Entangled Life, How Fungi Make Our Worlds. I wanted to talk not just about mushrooms and mushroom forming fungi, but also the fungi that don't form mushrooms, that are harder for us to notice. Um, but which have played such key roles uh, in the story of life. And so I spend um, a lot of time thinking about the networks of fungi which um, aren't directly perceivable to us and yet make up so much of the world that surrounds us. By means of an experiment, Sheldrake proves that mushrooms can pop up anywhere. He dipped his book in mycelia and grew oyster mushrooms on it. As they grow, the sounds they make are recorded by using electrons. His brother used the recordings to compose a song called Entangled Life. The mushrooms go right out of the book and into the frying pan. And then he enjoys them. The biologist also investigates the phenomenon of fermentation. Fungi and other microorganisms are key players in this natural preserving method. So making a fermented drink called beetroot kvass. Um, I like fermenting in general because I find it a helpful way to come closer to the microbial world and, um, and understand a little bit more intuitively what is taking place in a much more complex environments like the soil. Sheldrake explores various avenues to better understand and explain the complex world of fungi. He regards music as a point where art and science meet and provide new food for thought. It's really hard to understand what life might be like for a fungus. Their bodies and their environments, their challenges, their opportunities are so different from ours. So I've really had to explore different metaphors, different ways of thinking about what it might be like to be a fungus. Of course, I can never know, um, but it's worth trying. I think it's good for our, uh, our human centeredness to try and put ourselves in the shoes of other organisms, even if we're destined to fail. His book has become a bestseller and won several awards as Merlin Sheldrake introduces more and more people to the fascinating world of fungi.